Hello friends, it's me, that early childhood nerd, um, doing another installment of the Saturday Soapbox videos, this time coming to you from lovely Squirrel Park on the campus of Purdue University. Um, I am thinking today about how we use language with young children, and actually I've been uh, planning for a while to do, uh, it was supposed to be a blog series, but I find I'm too lazy for blogging. Um, uh, a series on words we should just stop using in the field of early childhood education. So I've decided to turn that into a Saturday Soapbox series instead. So first, um, I want to talk about the way we use the word friends in early childhood. So I'm talking about things like, um, we are all friends here, that we would say to children, or um, uh, you hurt my friend, those kinds of things. Um, for one thing, if we're all friends in childcare, when I was a director, why did I spend most of my time uh, running back and forth between people whose feelings were hurt by gossip or um, she said, she said garbage arguments? If, if everyone at childcare was friends, that staff should have been having the time of their lives. Uh, but apparently only all the small people are friends at childcare. It doesn't carry over for adults. Um, it just, it really drives me crazy when we use language in inauthentic ways with young children. Um, but with friends it gets me for a couple of, of reasons and I've even heard um, in some programs where they just never use the word children, it's always friends. So it's even when they're doing ratio checks at the end of a day. Um, how many friends do you have? Well I'll just take one friend and I'll leave you with five friends and then you'll be okay to be alone. Um, it, it may seem really harmless on the surface, but for me there's a couple of reasons that I would love to see it abolished completely, um, this way of using the word friends. Um, one is it does not help children learn language in an, in an appropriate way for me, an authentic way for me. It's a confusing message about what the word friend means. Um, if I say to a child, you just hurt your friend. I don't know that he thinks of that other child as a friend. Um, and if, if one of our jobs in early childhood, and I believe it's one of our most important jobs, is to help children figure out social skills and emotional skills, then forcing that kind of inauthentic friendship is defeating the purpose. We're not helping them to learn about friendship by insisting that just by being in a room together all day we're all friends. Um, one of the other things that bothers that bothers me about this way we use friends is that it's dehumanizing. Um, instead of talking about children or instead of talking about um, Johnny and Jane and Albert and whatever the children's names are, um, we've just sort of taken the human face off of them and we're using this jargon to describe them. And anytime we do anything that has a dehumanizing tendency, we are putting ourselves at risk and we are putting children at risk. Um, so I, I just think that any kind of that, that kind of teacher shorthand that we slip into is too institutional for my taste. Um, and it's just really confusing for children sometimes. I think about, you know, the things I, I, I hear like, none of our friends can go outside because we're waiting for you. All your friends are waiting for you. And if it was me, I'd be like, yeah, well, if they're my friends, they understand why it's taken me so long to get over there and they'll be cool with it. But that's not, it's almost punitive. You, it, so there's an element of emotional blackmail in there too that does not sit well for me with me. So I'm going to throw those few reasons out there and see what I get back from you guys in terms of whether you agree, disagree, um, uh, what your experiences have been with that, and, and also what are some options if our goals are to build a, feel, a feeling of community or um, to sound kind and friendly, to build social skills and those social connections, what are some other more authentic ways that we can do that? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Thanks for watching.